You seen the title and thumbnail, we about to do beef ragu. And I ain't talking about no chef boy D either, guys. So get in your kitchen, let's go. All right, let's go ahead and get started and what we have. So right here, we're gonna start back here with our beef. Now I have right here some top round steak. You can pretty much use any cut of beef you want. Um, a lot of times people use pot roast or they use beef short rib or you can use some sirloin. We just want a nice cut of the meat because the only thing we're gonna do is shred it at the end. Back here we have our Harperdale pasta. I hope I pronounced that right. We got some crushed tomatoes here, some beef stock. Right here we have some red wine. And guys, you do need to add the red wine. I don't care if you drink or not, don't send me a message saying, do I need to add the red wine? Yes, add it, all right? Celery, carrots, onions, some garlic, bay leaves, olive oil. Right here we have some dried thyme and some dried rosemary and some tomato paste. So that's all you're gonna need to make this particular recipe. Also at the end, we're gonna garnish it with some fresh parsley and some fresh Parmesan cheese. So don't worry about that right now, but this is what we need to get to cooking, all right? Let's get to it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is start seasoning our beef. Now you can use regular salt and pepper for this, but again, I like using that Hunter's Texas seasoning because this has salt and pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder in it. So this is exactly what we're looking for. So it's a nice seasoned blend for beef, even for chicken. All right, go get that baby flipped over. Same thing on the other side. All right, guys, that's what we have. So now let's move over to our cooktop so we can go ahead and get these babies seared so we can continue with the recipe. All right, so we're gonna heat up about two tablespoons of olive oil. And we wanna bring this over a medium high heat. And once your oil hits that smoke point, you wanna go in with your beef. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and pause our heat. We're done with both pieces of our meat. Take a look at that. Nice here, that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna move this over, our plate that we had our other piece of meat in. And we're just gonna sit this aside. And now we're going to turn our heat back on, drop our temp a little bit down the medium, add about a tablespoon of olive oil, heat that back up. Once that comes up to temperature, we're gonna add our onions those carrots, and our celery. And we're gonna saute these babies in this olive oil for about five minutes, or at least to these, they are softened. You wanna make sure those carrots are pretty soft and that celery is soft. Of course, it's gonna finish cooking in the crock pot, but we wanna make sure they're a little bit soft in here. We're all gonna sprinkle this with a little salt, All right guys, so I just realized I wasn't recording, but within the last minute, I did add our garlic in here, and then we just cooked that for that last minute. And now that we're approaching that, we're gonna go ahead and turn our cooktop off. We're gonna set this aside, and we're gonna move over to our crock pot. We're gonna take our veggie mixture. We're just gonna add it here to our slow cooker. So just come straight from your cooktop or stove. Now we're gonna add our thyme and rosemary, our bay leaves, red wine, beef broth, crushed tomatoes, and our tomato paste. And we're just gonna get at a quick stir right quick just to kind of get it all combined. Man, that's a nice flavor profile. And all we're gonna do now is come across that with our beef. Sit that in there. Those juices in there from that beef. Oh man. Cover this up. We're gonna cook this on low for six to eight hours. But guys, depending on the type of beef you have, how big and thick it is, six hours could be minimum, and you may have to go to eight hours, but it all depends. The only thing you're looking for is you want that beef to shred easily, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in here. I think mine's gonna take about six hours. Around the six hour mark, we're gonna test it, see if that baby's shredding like we want it. And that's all you gotta do, and we're gonna take it out, all right? So let's go ahead and get this baby started. And I'll see you guys in six hours.
All right, so we're about seven and a half hours in. Let's take a look at what we have. When I checked it around the six hour mark, to me it wasn't tender enough like I wanted it. You wanna make sure that it's pull apart. So what we can do is we can check it. Look at that. It's pulling apart while me just trying to pull out the pot. Look at that. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna shred this right here in the pot or in our crop pot. So you guys, look how easy that is shredding it like that. Just easy. Yeah, if it doesn't shred that easy, guys, you need to keep it in there a little bit longer. Let's remove these bay leaves. All right, guys, so take a look at what we have. I've got this baby shredded. So I'm gonna cover this up, let it sit on warm. We're gonna head over to our stove so we can start cooking our pasta. All right, guys, so I got some water right here already prepped. It's already coming up the boil. Once it starts boiling, we're gonna drop in our pasta. We're gonna cook this for about six minutes. That's all this pasta need is about six minutes. At least according to my package instruction. Cook yours according to your package instruction. All right guys, so we are good with our pasta. We're gonna turn our heat off. Now I'm gonna get this pasta drained. Then we're gonna head over to our cutting board. And I guess you can say we're gonna assemble our beef ragu, but it's only two ingredients, but we're gonna get it together, guys. I see you at the cutting board. All right, guys, so now we're gonna combine our pasta into our ragu. And we're gonna get this moved around in here. All right, guys, take a look at that. So let's go ahead and head to our cutting board and to our final presentation. There you have it guys, slow cooker beef ragu. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's jump into quality control. It's time to test it out. It look good and it smell good. Let's go. All right guys, quality control. I got my beef ragu pasta here. Let's take this, let's check it out, man. Oh man. Y'all wanna jump through that screen. I know y'all do. Mmm. Oh. oh man. I hope I ain't got nothing on my mouth, but it don't matter. I'm eating it, y'all know it. Let me get one more. Mmm. God, there's no need to say more. All I'm gonna say is until the end, they already know who I am. All wings, everything. And remember, I'm not a chef. Just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace.